All right, so we're gonna take you into some other drills that we use in regards to teaching your core how to engage while you're holding on to, 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 ha to handlebars, all right? So we're gonna take some mountain biking handlebars. We've put an elastic cord on it, made a little contraption here for it. But we're gonna start off with an anti-rotation press out. We're gonna do this from a half kneeling position. So ideally, we're gonna start off with the inside knee down, outside foot in front. I'm gonna get a little wider base. I'm gonna hold the handlebars in my hand. I'm gonna get my posture tall, breathe out and press out. Again, once you get that weight, or sorry, the uh, handlebars away from your body, things become a lot harder from your, in your hips and your core. So I'm gonna work on that a couple times, just pressing out, teaching my body what it feels like to get pulled, because ideally, you're fighting the resistance. So the, the band wants to pull you in, but I'm fighting it typically with my outside of my core here, my, my QL, my, my obliques, my core muscles. The next step after that, we'll take you into a half kneeling position, same thing, but now we're in, in an inline position. So I'm a little balance beam here, makes it a little more challenging. Again, same exact motion, same pattern, holding it out there and coming right back. And so, again, it takes a little bit of time. We, we, we typically take somebody a couple weeks through each one, each phase, maybe 10 to 15 reps or so, holding for about three to five seconds there. The next step is we're gonna go into a half kneeling, sorry, a, a split stance position. We'll get this out of the way. So again, same thing with the feet wider here. I'm gonna work on just holding my position, pressing out and back, pressing out and back. So once we master this position of that further out split stance, we call, we call this more of a, of a high split, we're gonna work into that pedal position again. Everything comes right back to this. This is where we ideally want to be. Pedal position with the feet, handlebars in my hand, and now I'm gonna press out. But as I press out, I'm actually gonna drop my hips back. So now I'm working into a little pump action, anti-rotation press out. I'm out and back. My hips are shooting back. Breathing out and pressing out. So this again, it's all progression. So we start off very basic from a half knee, inline knee, a high split to a pedal position. Now the final thing we get into is actually working on turning. So I'm gonna do the same exact thing, but now I'm gonna work on making a right hand turn by keeping my left elbow tight and reaching my right arm out. And as you can see, I just shifted my weight into my left hip, loading up the outside foot there, the outside pedal to make that turn, coming right back. Press out, right back. You can even add a little lean and a look through the turn to really emphasize what you're trying to do on the bike. Again, it doesn't matter if you're in a berm turn or a flat corner, this is the ideal position you want to be in is be able to get your hips out over the outside of that bike to make that turn into a quality shape there. So overall, the, the main benefits of this is again, just teaching your core, teaching the, the hips, everything to really engage as you do, do the patterns. Because ideally when you're taking these turns, You've, you've, you've emphasized how to be more in control of your bike and actually using your bike for leverage. I typically do a lot of pumping going into turns, so I'll pump down. Uh, trails typically have some undulated type of, of stuff going on, so you can, you can pump off the turn, get, in, get, in, get into that berm pretty easily. But again, being able to lock that core in is the most important part, because then you're able to control your bike a lot easier and make the bike basically an extension of yourself. So instead of you trying to ride the bike, you're controlling the bike. And that's the ideal goal is the more confident you are controlling that bike, the safer you are going to be overall.